Oh my god. <laughs> hey. Hi guys. So I'm back with another video. Why are my lips so chapped? Ugh. So um, I'm gonna do some just, I guess, scary makeup. I don't really have a plan. I'm just gonna start going and see where it takes me. Uh, let's discuss horror movies. Horror movies. I can talk uh, while I do some scary makeup. Does that sound good? Does that sound, sound good? Does it? I think it sounds good. Let's talk about some scary movies. Alright. So, probably one of the um, biggest horror movies in my life that has haunted me is The Exorcist, which I feel like is a really common one. Get ready to like start going trick-or-treating. My dad was like, hey, Kylie, come watch The Exorcist with me. And my mom was like, no. And he goes, it's the edited version. It's fine. And you know, it was like mid-November, end of November. And I was like still upset by this movie. And my mom was like, you know, maybe at night, just play some happy music so it'll distract you. I was like, okay, that sounds good. And so now, specifically Hilary Duff's Christmas CD, all of the songs remind me of The Exorcist. This is what I get for buying cheap wigs. My favorite um, horror movie character is Pennywise. You can tell that I love Pennywise because of my wall. I think Jason Voorhees is overrated. Fuck that guy. I hadn't seen Friday the 13th until recently. Like, I'd only seen, like, the ones with Jason actually in it. But I was annoyed that, like, the whole first movie, I'm waiting for him to show up and start fucking killing people. And he just doesn't. It's his mom! Do you want to wear some makeup, too? Your makeup? You know what movie I don't like and everyone's shocked by is Nightmare Before Christmas. That fucking scientist guy, he's so gross and creepy. Weird like duck face and Ugh. I hate the Saw franchise. I have such a weird shape nose. I think Hellraiser is one of the most boring horror movies ever. You know, I kind of like the Insidious movies, but I couldn't stop laughing when it shows the, like, the demon face that randomly pops up behind the, like, uh, behind what's his name? God, bad with names. Anyways, I started laughing because I just kept saying how much he looked like Darth Maul. You know what another one was that scared me a lot when I was a kid? Was, uh, The Ring. That one actually kind of, kind of messed with me a little bit. I'm like already staring stuff. Why are little kids always so creepy in movies? My scary? My scary? In horror movies, how come they always find like you go to a library and always find like a book on the exact thing that's happening? In a movie I saw like forever ago, um it follows. I liked that one because it didn't do that. It was kind of, you know, it was unsettling because you didn't really, you didn't have an explanation of what it was. And what was intriguing is that it was passed on through sex. It was like a weird STD. Who do you think would win in a fight? Annabelle or Chucky? Which version of Pennywise do you guys think was scarier? I'm gonna have to say Bill Skarsgård. I love Tim Curry. I think his character was more like funny, but I definitely think that Bill Skarsgård was scary. How annoyed do you think Mike Myers gets that there's a horror movie character named Michael Myers? Does anyone else think that Jack Skellington is just a complete fucking moron? What's Frankenstein's monster's, like, actual name? We're doing black lipstick again. On the inside.
You know that little bastard in Children of the Corn? Kind of reminds me of Frankie Muniz. Hello. I did it. It's sloppy and messy, but. I hope you enjoyed discussing scary movies. It's probably one of my favorite things to do because I like me some horror movies. And you know, it's October. Tis the season. Anyways, thanks for watching. And this is uh half school, half gothic Kylie. I am probably going to watch a bunch of scary movies tonight and sit on my couch wrapped up in a blanket. I will see you next time, I guess. Yeah.